for you. Six letters in English, but we want to look at the one letter in Hebrew, the letter Lamed, that functioned like a preposition to you, for you, when it's prefixed to the front of the personal pronoun you. And we see this in the Exodus itself, the deliverance of the people of God out of Egypt, so that you have blood as a sign for you, the things God will accomplish for you, the victory for you at the Red Sea, and of course, the bread from heaven for you. Now, going to Exodus chapter 12, the Israelites are in the land of Egypt, outside the land of promise, where the Christ would be born for them. But while they're there in Egypt, there's the plague of the firstborn. But the Lord is going to strike all the firstborn throughout the land of Egypt, with the exception of his people, Israel. He gives to them a sign. He says, the blood of the Paschal Lamb will be a sign for you. Something that is visible, something that is tangible, something that they can cling to so they can be certain and sure that God is for them. He's giving his word of promise attached to this blood upon their doorpost and their lentils that he will pass over and their firstborn will not die. This is Exodus chapter 12. And so the Israelites finally are let go by Pharaoh and they can go back to the promised land. But once you get to Exodus chapter 14, the people are concerned. Is God with us? Is he for us? Where is God in the midst of this? Because now here comes the horse and the chariot of Pharaoh pursuing us and trying to overtake us. And here in Exodus chapter 14, Moses gives them that word of assurance, the word from God, that he says, wait and see. You will see the salvation of God. Just set still, be quiet, and he will do what he has promised to accomplish for you. In fact, he will fight for you. That's Exodus chapter 14. In Exodus chapter 15, they have the victory song of how Yahweh graciously and gloriously triumphed by throwing the horse and the chariot into the sea. That Yahweh has become their strength and their song and their salvation. But just one chapter later in chapter 16, they say, well, it would have been better if we would have been in the land of Egypt without the promise of God for us. And so in chapter 16, they start to say, we wish we had meat to eat. We wish that we had bread like in Egypt. Yahweh has taken us because he's not for us. He's against us. In fact, he's going to murder us. Well, it's in chapter 16 where God gives them a promise that he is for them. He is a God for you. And so Moses gives them the promise and the assurance of the manna, the bread from heaven for you, so that you can be sure that God is with us and he is for us. And he gives the gift, the gift of manna. And they say, what is this? But it is the bread from the heavens for you. So that God assures them with something visible, something tangible with his promise that he is with them and he is for them. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.